hello guys uh, in this tutorial I am going to make uh, make database a file first as I told you I have to code the backend part so we will do it uh, in the next tutorial so first of all we will make the database file so as I as I uh, got many queries that uh, my uh, Mozilla Firefox not supporting uh, SQLite extension like that so I have found a software that is DB browser uh, in this we will going to create our database uh, don't worry about the software I have attached a link in the description so you can download easily so just we will just create our, our database first I am naming it acps.sqlite Make sure it gives the extension as SQLite for it defaultly save as .db file. So please uh, give uh, SQLite file extension. So after saving it, we will create tables. First is labs. Uh, we, we need to uh, add lab number. Wait. Three fields are required. First is lab number. And they have to will track number and after that status status of the this numbers is it is uh, available or reserved so status should be in text form so for now we are saving saving this table and now I'm creating mo one more ta uh, more tables the next is login and we need to add two two columns first is id second one is password uh, both should be in integer so save it now another table is pub now here we need nine nine fields no need of ten only nine. First is RC. Second one is name. Day after gender position brand issue expiry. After that, lab n and track n. Now RC will be in text form, name also in text form, gender text, position text, brand text, and after that, all should be in integer integer data type okay now save it and last table would, would be release table here we need 11 columns now first is rc name gender position brand issue expiry lap n track number total day and the last one is paid So we have to put first 5 in text and after that all will be integer data type. So now save it. So our database is ready now. Just after, after doing all the works, just click right changes so that it will save all of, all of our tables. Now in the next tutorial we will going to code the backend codes. So thank you for watching this video. Hope you like this and please subscribe. Subscribe.
subscribe my channel thank you